Okay, you can see I am on the planet by my base. I have got the three, um, in the Artemis line, Apollo has you get ley lines. You just go to three locations and interact with the location. And after the three of them, it points you to what they it calls a ley line source, which I believe will be a portal. Since I did this in my system with my bases on it, um, I will have the location of a portal. So beside getting the technology blueprints and other benefits of doing the Artemis line, you also get a portal location. And I recommend you leave a save beacon there. So with your main, with your bases, you could always go back to the, uh, uh, and use the portal whenever you want to travel around Euclid. So you see, it gives us a portal location. So that can often be the first portal location you get in the game. And you can go anywhere in Euclid with that if you have the coordinates. So I mean, just uh, do the Artemis quest line, you know, and, and get that. If you do this line, you also will end up getting all the glyphs. I'll show you that probably later. Um, so put a save beacon down. Two metal plates. I'll show you what I got. 10,000 carbon, 10,000 ferrite. I showed you the method and uh, 10,000 oxygen. I'll show you the method I use. I showed you the method I used to get that uh, in a previous video in this series. Let's make this, um, I like to use a specific color. Let's use red. Let's you save your game. That's available in the options here.
warning. Hostile system. Units received. Units received. So if you look, let's see, 10,879. 10,907. So, might as well scan. Look, you get the, um, upload. get some a few words out of some of them grab the warp fuel no reason not to it's free um, I'll say hello and it says hello world like a computer. And it's an audio recording that plays here. Pause the screen and read that. Initiate personality interface, I'll say yes. Traveler. Reality fades, everything does. My body, my voice, all of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might with a recording that says hello world. All right, so you got to choose whether you scream, rejoice, submit. I don't remember. I'll just scream the first one. the ship here okay remember in the first episode or so I mentioned there's usually oxygen trying to rescue Artemis. No need. 
nearby hot spot. Okay, XF. My launch thruster is damaged. Make a dihydrogen jelly and place the 50 ferrite and the um, dihydrogen jelly in there. All right, let's head for that. I bet that's where we're going. Uh, before I get too far from the ship, which is already out of range. All right, I'll summon the ship when we get there. It's a hologram that looks like Artemis. Ask if he's all right. He makes no sign that he can hear me. It just stares. Something is wrong. I scan. So all the signals from Artemis seem to have come right from here. So this is the point where you find the source of that signal earlier on. Comfort Artemis, and the projection fizzles away to mere static. This echo is all that is left of the entity known as Artemis, a grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality. My friend is dead, perhaps they were never alive. I must tell Apollo what I have seen. This is uploaded. Let's head for the space station and get a slot because we need no nearby hotspot. Let's go to the space station.
notice I got the milestone for discovering all species on six planets. The title for that is Compiler for six stars. Okay. Let's head to the space station. space pretty much everywhere but we're gonna go on the anomaly so let's take one down here and one up here on the anomaly 35,000 um, I am gonna need I don't have cold up here so let's see what he needs. He has an A class. I would rather, if I'm going to get it at this point, an S class. Is an S class scanner module. We'll take that. Install it. When you have more than three, it will break them. You have to get rid of one. I think I'll get rid of this one. It gives me a wiring loom, among other things. This is much better. And to be honest, I bet you that A class in here is better. Let's let's grab it. We'll take what we can get. Okay, so this is 6,000 mineral, 5,000 flora. This is 1,000 and 1,000. We'll dismantle the C-class. We don't really lose much because we get a wiring loom and, and 40 chromatic metal. The big thing there is the wiring loom. That's definitely worth something. And we've been able to use that all this time to make extra. So the A class, the, all these percents are going to add together and uh, make us more units when we scan stuff. That blue plant, the blue spaceship is nice. I like the color.
That's the planet we were on. Activated copper indicates there are storms on that planet. Marshy, copper, mordite, and cobalt. Marshy, copper, mordite, cobalt. You don't see mordite a whole lot, so that's of interest, I would say. Mordite is much uh, rare to see. Fragmented planet, copper, gold, and silver. into the log. Let's go to the space anomaly. Now before we speak to Nada, so I don't forget, let's get the technology slot that we said we get. So we'll stick one up here. Uh, let's stick it down here as um, I'm going to put one for the cold down here. 15,000 is the upgrade. Explain the portal. Nada looks at me with concern. Confirm. You get nanites. And you get Quicksilver. Alright, let's go contact Apollo. 